In 2010, a global study revealed that the average IQ is approximately 89. This number, however, doesn't necessarily mean that those who score higher are automatically smarter. While people with higher IQs tend to do well in school, earn more money, stay healthier and even live longer, intelligence alone isn't the only reason for their success. High IQ scores are often linked to greater motivation, which drives individuals to achieve more. Either way, when people think of intelligence, one name tends to come up above all others, Albert Einstein. Einstein's name is synonymous with the word genius, but his actual IQ is a mystery. Unlike many prominent figures today, Einstein never took an IQ test. So the numbers you often see on the internet, like 160, are purely speculative. IQ tests like the YS4, which is commonly used today, can give a maximum score of 160 and those scoring 135 or higher are considered in the top 1%. But no one knows exactly where Einstein would fall in that range, though many people believe it must have been high, given his groundbreaking work in theoretical physics. The idea that Einstein had a uniquely brilliant mind comes not just from his intelligence, but also from the creative and unusual ways he approached problems. For instance, one of his most famous thought experiments, conducted when he was still a teenager, involved imagining what it would be like to chase a beam of light. This required a profound understanding of the world that few people could grasp, and it speaks volumes about his imaginative and intellectual capacities. But does this necessarily mean Einstein had a high IQ? Not necessarily. In fact, Einstein's early life and education don't paint the picture of a stereotypical genius. He struggled to secure a job in academia right after graduating and even failed to get a university position initially. He ended up working as a patent clerk in Switzerland, which seems far from the trajectory of someone who would eventually revolutionize our understanding of physics. Unlike other scientific giants like Isaac Newton or Marie Curie, Einstein didn't come from a family of famous intellectuals nor did he have an impressive academic record in his youth. Yet despite these obstacles, he developed his groundbreaking theory of relativity in 1905, a discovery that changed the world of science forever. One theory for Einstein's meteoric rise to fame is that his background as a regular guy made his achievements even more extraordinary. He wasn't part of any prestigious scientific organization, and he didn't work in a high-profile laboratory when he came up with his theory of relativity. Instead, he was a lowly patent clerk, supporting his young family, yet he managed to make one of the most revolutionary scientific discoveries in human history. This may have contributed to his almost mythic status as a genius. People were astounded that someone from such an ordinary background could achieve so much. Despite the wealth of scientific minds throughout history, it seems that no one has reached the same level of fame and recognition as Einstein. Why is that? It's not that modern scientists are any less intelligent. In fact, we've seen several geniuses emerge in recent years like Stephen Hawking with his groundbreaking work on black holes or Neil deGrasse Tyson, known for simplifying complex astronomical concepts for the public. So why aren't they as famous as Einstein? One possible explanation is that the field of physics itself has changed. During the early 20th century, physics was at the forefront of scientific discovery. It wasn't just about understanding the world, it was about changing it. Inventions like nuclear power, radar, lasers and transistors all stemmed from advancements in physics. These discoveries didn't just deepen our understanding of the universe, they altered the course of human history. However, modern physics has shifted its focus to more abstract concepts, such as higher dimensions, which don't have as much relevance to our everyday lives. As a result, the general public may not be as captivated by today's physics as they were in Einstein's time. While physics may have faded somewhat from the public spotlight, biology has gained traction. Take Francis Crick, who, along with James Watson, discovered the structure of DNA in the 1950s. Crick, who started his career as a physicist, is one of the few scientists who came close to achieving Einstein-like fame. In his later years, Crick even delved into the mysteries of human consciousness. But despite his incredible achievements, he didn't quite reach the same legendary status as Einstein. Part of Einstein's enduring fame is due to his unique personality. He wasn't just a brilliant physicist, 
He was also a public figure who used his platform to speak out on important social and political issues. People were drawn to his words as much as to his scientific insights. In 1952, he was even offered the presidency of Israel, a role he ultimately declined, preferring to stick to what he knew best physics. It's hard to imagine any modern scientist, whether in physics or biology, being offered such a prominent political position today. Another factor contributing to Einstein's mystique is his childlike curiosity and stubbornness, which drove him to pursue his groundbreaking theories. Many experts believe that Einstein was a product of a specific time and personality type, someone who thrived in the early 20th century when the world was more open to celebrating scientific discoveries. While we may not see another scientist like Einstein, that doesn't mean today's scientists are any less capable. It simply means the landscape of scientific achievement and public recognition has changed. Einstein himself was modest about his accomplishments, once famously remarking, I am no Einstein, as if he didn't believe in the hype surrounding him. People have also wondered whether Einstein's intelligence was passed down to his descendants. While IQ is highly heritable, it's not a guarantee that children of geniuses will inherit the same level of intellect. For instance, Einstein's wife, Mileva Marik, was also a brilliant scientist, contributing to some of his work. Together, they had two sons. Their son, Hans Albert, was a professor of hydraulic engineering at UC Berkeley, not quite on the same level as Einstein's contributions to theoretical physics, but still impressive. Their other son, Eduard, initially studied medicine, but later struggled with mental health issues and spent much of his life in psychiatric care. One of Einstein's grandsons, Bernhard, also became a physicist and even filed several US patents. There's also speculation that Einstein's brain itself may have contributed to his intelligence. Studies of his brain have revealed that he had a higher number of glial cells in certain areas compared to the average person. Glial cells support neurons by providing nutrients, helping with signal transmission and assisting in brain function. Einstein's brain was particularly rich in glial cells in the left inferior parietal area, which is crucial for combining information from different parts of the brain. While this might suggest that Einstein's brain was unique, it's difficult to draw concrete conclusions from such a small sample size. Ironically, despite his groundbreaking work in theoretical physics, Einstein wasn't a fan of science fiction. He believed that sci-fi distorted people's understanding of real science, making them believe in impossible things. However, his influence on popular culture is undeniable. For example, the character Yoda from Star Wars was partially inspired by Einstein's appearance. In the end, we should consider ourselves fortunate that Einstein pursued science and contributed to our understanding of the universe. But he often said that if he hadn't become a physicist, he would have loved to be a musician. He was passionate about playing the violin, and it's possible that in another life, he could have been known for his music instead of his theories of relativity.